Who's cheating was so obvious it got an entire tournament cancelled during the finals. Who got busted for cheating by literally broadcasting themselves using the cheating program. From chess to game shows to counter strike, here are 15 people who cheated to win and got busted doing it. I'm Danger Dolan and today I will be your narrator. Number 15. Flex wasn't even a full time member of the CSGO team he joined with. He was just filling in for two matches, and two matches is all it took for him to get booted off the regional servers for cheating. In the middle of the match, live on ESEA TV, his team members had no idea he was cheating until after the match was over. Number 14. Pedro Aspix Slatovisk reportedly got very nervous when people were behind him during the World Cyber Games Brazil qualifier for CSGO. So he sat at the end of the table for his Ica Cobra team with his back facing the wall. Turns out there's a good reason for that, as anybody who saw his screen would easily be able to tell he was cheating. He was found out and banned from all major competition for 6 years. Number 13. During an official match in CSGO's ESL Pro Series, not only did Stefan Kristen Dos Santos cheat, he provided the evidence of it himself. He uploaded the footage of the match, which clearly showed him using a tool involving putting blue boxes on teammates and red boxes on the opposing team to help with aim assist. He was caught and banned for two years. Number 12. Taking a step away from Counter-Strike for a moment, Gaios Nigalids was a two-time national chess champion in the former Soviet Republic of Georgia. But it's hard to say how much of that was legitimate after he was busted using a cell phone program to tell him what to do during a tournament in Dubai. Organizers became suspicious after he spent an entire match running back and forth from the bathroom where he had a phone wrapped in toilet paper hidden in one of the stalls. Number 11. And we're back to Counter-Strike because there's a lot of cheating in CSGO. One of the worst hacking scandals came in 2014 when three of the game's highest profile players admitted to using hacks and cheats during matches. The biggest problem was the hacks were undetectable at the time of the match and only came to light much later. The entire professional CSGO scene came under suspicion as a result because if you can't catch cheaters, how can you tell who's playing legitimately? Number 10. In May 2015, online survival game H1Z1 banned over 23,000 players in a single day. Many of them started emailing John Smedley, the company president of the game's developer, apologizing and asking for their accounts back. Smedley responded by telling them they were apologizing to the wrong person. He asked the cheaters for a public YouTube apology and admission of guilt without any personal information. If the cheaters did that and emailed him the link, he would reinstate their accounts. Number 9. If you're playing Call of Duty on a friend's account because it's just easy and neither of you care, then hey, no big deal. When it is a big deal is when you play on somebody else's account during a tournament. Diablo apparently hadn't been playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare long enough to officially register as a team member, but he was good at it. So he played on another team member's account. They were found out almost immediately and they were both banned. Number 8. Joel Emilio Marco was one of the first CSGO bans handed down in 2015 in a wave of them that eventually hit some of the aforementioned players. But Emilio didn't admit to cheating. He tried to prove his innocence on multiple occasions before finally admitting his guilt and asking for a ban to be lifted. Technically, Emilio still claims he never cheated during the official tournament match, but he cheated during regular matchmaking games and that got his account banned anyway. Number 7. Kid X was, at one point, a top 200 ranked Korean Overwatch player. He was streaming his game one day and really not even trying to hide the fact that he was using an aimbot, a program that basically aims for you. Luckily, he was streaming, everybody got to see his comeuppance happen live on camera, and he was booted mid-match back to the title screen, his account permanently banned. Number 6. Back in 2005 on the original Counter-Strike, Finnish player Natu was on top of the world as one of the best players in the world, and perhaps the best in Finnish history. Or at least he was, until it was found he was using a wall hacking program during matches. He was temporarily banned, but appealed the ban to get back into competitive play. After the appeal, not only did they not lift the ban, they made it a permanent lifetime ban. After they discovered he'd been playing matches under an alternate account name during the ban, and he was still cheating. Number 5. Charles Ingram won himself a million British pounds on live television during Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And he did it by getting his wife to plant a quiz show expert in the live audience. The plot was simple enough, his plant would listen to the question with him and cough when the right answer was read. Ingram got away with it at first, but when the producers watched the footage back, the trick was easy to spot. He and his wife had the million stripped away and they were taken to court for defrauding the show. Number 4. 
Overwatch is notoriously tough on cheating, and the hackers who got caught are notoriously whiny about getting caught. August 2016 saw a huge wave of aimbot and triggerbot users getting banned after a new map exposed hacks that were previously undetectable. The cheaters predictably took to the forums to shout out Blizzard for some reason. Some even threatened to sue, although none of them had a good answer for what kind of court case they'd have when they got banned for cheating. Number three. In 2012, Azuba Frost was a League of Legends team that had a very analog method of cheating. During a match, they simply turned around. On the screen behind them was a mini map meant for audience eyes only, which displayed enemy locations. Obviously, looking at the screen was against the rules, and Azuba Frost was punished accordingly. But also, the tournament organizers likely learned after that to not put a literal screen cheat right behind the teams. Number two. The fighting game community doesn't have a lot of technical cheating like bots and programs and things like that, but fighting game tournaments have a problem with collusion, where professional tournament players, many of whom are friends, agree to split the prize money between them regardless of who wins. One such instance of this was at EVO in 2013, when Chris G and Flocker reached the finals of Marvel vs Capcom 3. Chris G and Flocker both took teams with their low tier characters they'd never been seen using before and played a finals match both players obviously didn't care about winning. Chris G was also also involved in a Super Street Fighter 4 tournament in New York, where the finals match was so obviously fixed, the tournament organizer got up before the end of the first match, shut off the system, and declared the tournament over with no winner. Number one. There are lots of ways to get caught if you're cheating in a game. Many of them you'll likely never notice because the developers aren't going to tell you how to beat the system. But of all the ways to get caught, this has to be the dumbest. Miss Q Gemini was streaming CSGO on Twitch, and without even blinking, she casually just opened up her cheating program, adjusted settings, and immediately started wall hacking. Lots of people who get busted cheating will go with the it wasn't me, someone else installed it, I didn't know it was running excuse. That excuse doesn't really work when you literally broadcast yourself operating the cheat. Plant Dawn is now a video game. Play it as Dawn, Melissa, and the rest of the PD crew collecting shinies to unlock skins and power-ups. Download from the Android or iOS app store and start racing today for free. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!